once we have all the transactions in there because cash is so crucial and involved in so many transactions it's a huge check a huge internal control for us to reconcile the bank accounts we don't want to go to the adjusting process until we've reconciled the bank accounts so once we're done with the month we're going to say let's reconcile the bank accounts meaning compare the bank balance of cash to our balance of cash determine exactly what the differences are make any adjustments we need to make and then reconcile in terms of what is outstanding what are the outstanding checks what are the outstanding deposits that gives us assurance that our transactions are in there correctly both our cash transactions and because so many other entries are involving cash it's a huge check on our on our entire financial system then we want the accounting cycle in terms of the recording the adjusting entries so the adjusting entries are going to be those that are made as of the end of the month in this case 731 all of them are made as of the end of the month those are our timing journal entries meaning we're making sure that our financial statements are correct on an accrual basis looking at those accounts that always need adjustment those accounts like prepaid insurance and accumulated depreciation and uh, we have interest payable and unearned revenue those accounts that typically are going to need some type of adjustment and that's just the way the system is built so we're going to put those journal entries in there in order to make our financial statements correct as of the date that the financial statements are being generated then we're going to take this adjusted trial balance the one that has now been uh, adjusted in terms of those adjusting entries to make them on an accrual basis or as close to it as possible and use them to create the financial statements the end product this is what we're trying to get to the balance sheet the income statement and the statement of owner's equity in terms of financial accounting this is our product that is going out to the external users also the product that's mainly going to be the basis for most of the managerial accounting reports used on an internal basis as well so this is the main event and you might think it should be the last step then it being the main event but it's not the last step after we have the financial statements we are then going to do the closing process and this is kind of like if we had the main events being a, a super bowl or something like that then the closing process is cleaning up all the stadium afterwards in order for us to start the process over again that's what we're doing in the closing process we're going to take that adjusted trial balance which we use to make the financial statements and we're going to close out those temporary accounts those accounts that are kind of like the scoreboard accounts those revenue accounts those income statement accounts those draws accounts those are going to be these items down here and those then are going to be zero at the end why because as of the first day of the next month we want them to be at zero just like we want the scoreboard in the new game to be zero so that we can start counting up again from that point forward so those are going to be the five steps you want to keep in mind and when you have a broad view and thinking in terms of what the accounting process is going to be you want to have these five steps uh, uh, in mind so you know what is going on from that level meaning starting with the normal business transactions and again in terms of time that's what's going on most of the time the whole month that's basically what going what goes on the end of the month obviously a busy time for the accounting department because we need to reconcile the bank accounts then do the adjusting journal entries then the financial statements the main events and then we do the closing process in that point and then we can start over and do the next process again in that order at this point just want to note that smaller companies may not be required to issue publicly uh, you know financial statements to the public and therefore uh, they may not be as diligent in terms of their their bank reconciliations and their adjusting entries and the creation of the financial statements as they should be uh, and they might be depending typically possibly yearly to get help from an outside cpa firm at least to make the financial statements to uh, generate the tax returns so just realize that if you're in a smaller company that uh, there could be some differences in terms of the the just exactness of the accounting process from month to month the larger the company that will be the pro the more systematic we're going to have the process basically down from month to month although of course there will also be more detail involved when we get into the more detail of each of these steps within the process